Hey there! Are you familiar with this aquatic species? If yes, that's good for you. And if not, you shouldn't worry because I'll introduce you to this beautiful fish named loach. You're getting it right, fellas. These freshwater loaches commonly originate in parts of Asia, Europe, and Southeast Asia. Most of these fish are bottom dwellers and have exciting features similar to sharks, eels, or flattened stingrays. If you encounter a loach in an aquarium store, you will notice that they are generally peaceful, but sometimes these fish can be very boisterous, so keeping them together with a shy fish might not be ideal. Astonishingly, these loaches are so versatile that there's a loach species for just about any community setup. If that intrigued you to dive further into the world of loaches, you're on the right video. Because today in Aquarium Store Depot, I'll be breaking down the 12 popular types of loaches that you can add to your tank. You don't have to wait any longer because I'll be starting the list off straight with the first loach you should know. Hello to Yo-Yo Loach. You must be wondering why it is called Yo-Yo Loach. Was it because it looked like a yo-yo toy? Well, of course not. The markings on their skin vividly manifest the alternate letters Y and O of the alphabet, introducing a spelling of the yo-yo word. This fish, also called the Pakistani loach, scavenges on the bottom of the aquarium and is highly active and bold. It's also essential to pick up a group of six or more because the yo-yo loach is a social fish. Zebra loach is another loach you should add to your tank. Like the previous loach, this zebra loach also has an interesting marking on its skin. If you notice the stripy pattern of the zebra loach, you'll easily understand where they earned the alternative name of candy stripe loach. It's also good to note that these active swimming loaches need a minimum tank size of 30 gallons for a group of 5 or more. Next on our list is the sought after dwarf chain loach. Also known as ladderback or chain loach, these fish stay small at 2 inches but are very active in their school, so it's better to ensure they have plenty of swimming space. If you want to add these fish to your tank, you must keep them in a decent sized group of at least 6 and although dwarf chain loaches are bottom feeders, they can still be bold and have no problem moving higher in the water column in their school. The Cooley Loach might be your next favorite cleanup crew fish in your tank. You heard it right, this type of eel-like loach helps maintain your tank clean, because despite having a pair of tiny eyes, they can still quickly find a tasty sinking pellet or wafer on the bottom of the fish tank. Instant organic tank cleaner, right? This loach, also known as Cooley Loach or Leopard Loach, can be goofy as they dart around and tend to be a more nocturnal species. Although the regular coolie loach is the best looking species, it's good to know that you can choose from a variety of black and silver coolie loach. Don't you miss out on dojo loach on your list of potential fish for your aquarium. These unique eel-shaped loaches grow relatively large and are available in interesting golden and albino varieties. Dojo loach is also known as a pond loach, but you should not keep them outdoors if they escape into local waterways. These fish are also a large loach species that make an awesome tank mate for goldfish. Ensure that they have a 64 to 74 degree Fahrenheit water temperature in a 50 gallon tank. Running as our sixth popular loach on the list, meet Hillstream Loach. If you're a fan of a strange looking loach, the Hillstream Loach or Stewilia lineolata is something you should consider purchasing. Their natural habitat is flowing streams, so they prefer good water flow and oxygenation in their tank. You can easily set this up with a small power head and an air stone. When it comes to their food, these loaches with stingray body shapes must be fed prepared and live frozen foods, although this peaceful species will also graze on algae and biofilm in your aquarium. It seems that you're already enjoying knowing the various loaches right now. If so, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates regarding aquarium-related topics. And to add your curiosity about the remaining 6 popular loaches for your tank, let's continue with the 7th loach on our list without further ado. Valuable like gold meet the Golden Zebra Loach. Also named Silver Striped Loach, these fish are similar to other loach species like the polka dot and the yo-yo loach. 
It is a peaceful fish that is easy to feed and fits great with other species in a community aquarium. If you want to provide them with a healthy environment, placing them in a 77 to 82 degree Fahrenheit water temperature is one thing you can do to make them happy. Serving the 8th spot, meet the Rosy Loach. This true nano fish is also known as Heteritis species. The Rosy Loach is very active and needs to be kept in a group of 8 or more to shine. These small fish get along great with other nano fish in planted aquariums and should get along well with adult shrimp. It's also good to note that providing them with a 15 gallon tank size is ideal. The next fish will yield superb entertainment in your tank. Presenting to you the Clown Loach, also known as the Tiger Bodia. Their unique bright colors made them the most colorful loach species in the hobby. But despite clown loaches having a mesmerizing skin color, you should know that they can grow up to at least 8 to 12 inches. Apart from that, these large loaches prefer to be kept in group, so as a fish keeper you will need a tank of over 100 gallons if you plan on keeping these beautiful fish. Don't underestimate the beauty of a polka dot loach as the 10th fish in our list. Yes, you heard it right, this type of loach has an interestingly beautiful appearance and an incredibly vibrant and outgoing personality, which justifies the nickname Gain. Angelicus loach, like some of the loaches I mentioned, polka dot loach is also a social fish that does best when kept in groups of five or more. Providing them with a tank filled with a sandy bottom and plenty of caves and other hiding places will make them feel right and at home. Feeling like the previous loaches don't match what you prefer? Why not try the horse head loach instead? This 11th fish in our list is also called a banana fish and a horse face loach which is also described as a funny looking bottom dweller that adds a great interest to your fantastic water aquarium. These elongated loaches are an excellent choice for more extensive unheated aquariums and are great for controlling pest snails. Isn't it wonderful? But you should know that these fish should be kept in groups of 6 or more with good water flow and a sandy substrate tank. I know you're already intrigued by our last loach on the list, so here's the 12th fish you can't consider. Meet the Panda Loach. This is a relatively new addition to the hobby, but it is already a popular aquarium fish. It's also better to understand that because these small loaches are native to mountain streams. They prefer calm water with good flow and oxygenation. So providing them with a proper water temperature of 68 to 75 degree Fahrenheit is going to be fantastic. To create a truly unique aquarium, you should keep a group of four or more of these small fish in a hill stream biotope. Now that you've finally met the 12 popular loaches, I assume you're excited to add one or two to your tank. However, adding those fish without knowing how to take care of them might eventually cause panic instead of excitement. So to help you sort out things regarding the basics of loach care, I'll be highlighting the things you need to know. First things first, Testing and water quality. As you can notice from our discussion, loaches require excellent water quality, so weekly water changes are recommended in most cases. You need to test your water regularly to monitor your water quality and aim to keep your nitrate levels at 30 ppm or lower. Second, keep in mind the aquarium maintenance. That's right folks, whatever effort you exert in cleaning your tank, if the action will only last for a week or two and will never continue, your tank will still end up unhealthy. That's why regular maintenance of the tank is essential. Remember to rinse your filtration media in old tank water to keep your beneficial bacteria colonies healthy. Lastly, of course, it's a necessity to feed your loaches. You should know that these fish are bottom feeders. So choose a high quality sinking tablet, pellet or wafer as their regular diet. Supplementing this with blanched vegetables and live or frozen foods like brine shrimp and blood worms significantly improves their condition. But although feeding fish is fun, you should still avoid overfeeding your loaches as this can cause poor water quality and ammonia spikes. Those were the primary care the loaches needed to stay healthy and perform well in the tank and since loaches are social fish, you would consider adding another fish to your tank as their companion. Just make sure to keep them with fish that live in schools or shoals in nature and avoid species with long fins or any species that could be aggressive towards your loaches. Do you love loaches now? 
Tell us about your favorite species in the comments below. And if you want to keep in touch, don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button for more aquarium related topics in your feed. You can also watch the other videos posted on our YouTube channel because you might find another fish that can be a potential partner with your loach. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.